Hello everyone. So let's make a ice cream kasata cake today which is a summer special. So let's begin. To begin with, we will start with the cake which is there at the bottom. So we'll be taking the dry ingredients first. So I'll be taking all purpose flour or maida in a sieve. Some baking powder. some baking soda and then we'll mix together and pass it through a sieve this makes the mixture light airy and all the ingredients get mixed properly and if if there is any lumps in the batter it will get removed so we'll just mix it once so now we'll start with the wet ingredients so we'll take some curd sugar caster sugar so we'll now blend these things together using a electric hand mixer now we'll add oil and slightly warm water I have added oil and water, and I'll be at low speed. So at low speed, I'll be mixing all these. If all your ingredients are at room temperature, then you don't need to take uh, slightly lukewarm water. If your ingredients are slightly cold, then you can uh, make your water slightly warm. So that will bring your uh, cake batter to room temperature. I'll add vanilla extract. Mix well. So now we'll take the dry ingredients and add it into the batter half at a time. So I'll you be using a wire which now whisk now and I'll mix it. So while making eggless cakes we need to be sure that we don't beat the batter much. So we just need to make sure just the the dry flour and the ingredients are mixed properly and we don't need to beat it. Otherwise the cakes will become dry and hard. So that is why we are not using electric mixers. We are doing it using our hands. instead of all purpose flour or maida if you have a cake if you have a flour which is specifically for cakes like there are some low gluten flours available so which are specially there for uh, cakes you can use that also that gives a better cake crumb here i have used your regular all purpose flour or maida See now it is combined very nicely. So now using an offset spatula, sorry, now using an off spatula, I'll just do it like this so that to be sure that uh, no dry flour is remaining at the bottom or the sides. See a very nice smooth batter is formed. We will just see like this. So it is. It should be of flowing consistency like this. in case you think that the cake is not of a flowing consistency like you can add one or two table one tablespoon of water extra but in this case it's a proper batter see now i have prepared a cake 8 inch cake tin i have applied oil and slightly uh, put flour on it and then i have put a parchment paper at the base of it so that the it is so that it is ensured that the cake comes out of the 
pan when baked. One teaspoon of vinegar just before adding the batter to the pan, and we will mix it well. We will pour the batter in the cake tin. We will tap the cake tin once or twice so that the air bubbles wrapped inside are released. Now we will bake this uh, cake in a preheated oven at 180 degrees Celsius for around 40 minutes till a skewer inserted inside it comes out clean. Once the cake is out of the oven, we will put it on a cooling rack and let it cool for one are so that the cool, so that the cake is cooled down completely. Once the cake has cooled down, we will demold the cake using a knife by running a knife around the corners and then flipping it on a cake board or a plate. So now we'll prepare the tin to make the to layer the cassata ice cream. So we'll take the same tin in which we bake the cake. We'll apply all we'll, we'll apply oil onto the inside the pan so that whenever we flip the cake outside after freezing the ice cream, the cake comes out easily. So we'll apply the oil. Now we will take the clean foil and put it inside the pan so that it covers the whole pan and whenever uh, when after freezing the cake when we flip out uh, when flip the cake outside the pan it comes out very easy so we will just apply the cling foil on all the sides of the cake including the bottom now we will trim the top of the cake so that it becomes a level cake Using a knife, serrated knife, we will just remove the top dome of the cake. Now remove the parchment paper from base of the cake. Now we will put the acetate sheet around the corners of the cake tin. This will help us in layering of the ice cream so that we can go as high as possible. So if your uh, Ice cream. Uh, if your if your cake tin is a taller one, you can avoid this. But however, I find that when putting an acetate sheet around the uh, cake tin helps us to demold the cake, ice cream cake. Now we will start with layering of the ice creams in this in this ice cream passata cake. So we we'll, I am using a uh, store bought ice creams. However, you can use homemade ice creams as well. So I'll be now telling you how to layer the ice cream. So I'll be taking first the tutti frutti flavor. So uh, what we'll be doing is it has to be in a very semi soft uh, state. It should not be in the liquid state nor it should be very hard. So it should be a very soft stage of the ice cream. See it is very easily uh, uh, pressable. So what we'll do is now we'll scoop the ice cream using uh, an ice cream scooper and put it on top of our ice cream of our cake so please uh, uh, note that that the cake should be cold it should not be warm or hot otherwise the ice cream will melt to a great extent and the ice cream will seep into the cake we do not want that we want the ice cream to have a nice thick layer of ice cream on the cake so see using ice cream scooper i will just scoop on the ice cream I, I will just flatten the ice cream and we have a smooth top. We will now cover it with a clean foil and freeze it and put it in the freezer for minimum 2 to 3 hours so that the top is frozen completely. So now 
our tutti frutti cake is set so tutti frutti ice cream is set so we'll take out the cover like this now i have taken a green pista ice cream and i'll be putting the next layer cling foil again on top of the ice cream and we will again put it in the freezer for 1 to 2 hours or for at least 2 hours till the top ice cream is set so this ensures that we have complete different layers otherwise the layers will get mixed so freezing the each layer is a key part in setting up the sata ice cream. so now we are putting strawberry ice cream on top of uh, the pistachio ice cream You can use any flavors you like. Uh, you will like to put. So these are some classic flavors for a kasata ice cream cake. So I thought let me do it. But otherwise, you can use any combination of flavors which you like. Now I'll cover the top with a covering cap, like shower cap or something. And now we'll freeze this mixture. So this we now will freeze this uh, cake in the freezer overnight, or minimum eight hours, six to eight hours, so that the cake is solid. Then we'll take it out. So now overnight, I have chilled the cake. So we'll just remove it. So now we'll demold the cake. So I have taken a cake board. So this is a reusable cake board. So I'll take this. I'll using I'll just because this is now rock solid. So I'll just place my hand like this and try to remove. See, it comes off so easily. So we'll remove the cling foil. First, we'll remove this. We'll take it and we'll keep it. So now we'll just remove the side. Acetate. Sheet. Just have a look. How nicely all the three layers are there. This is the cake layer. This is tutti frutti. This is pistachio, and this is strawberry. So we'll now remove the top of this. See how lovely and beautiful this cake is looking. So now I have taken few nuts. So this is almonds, cashews, and pistachios. So I have just uh, cut them uh, in smaller pieces, and I have dry roasted it for some time. So we don't we don't need to change the color of the nuts. It's only that I have just dry roasted them to slightly so that it doesn't give a raw flavor. So now now we'll put these nuts on top of it. So kasata cakes have a very distinctive flavor. They have uh, they have a distinctive flavor of nuts on the top. So this is a very important step.
we'll just press it a little bit so that the nuts get embedded into it and as the ice cream will melt slightly these will stick to it So we are ready with this wonderful cake, ice cream kasata cake. You can use your own flavors as you wish. But today we have used vanilla cake, tutti frutti ice cream cake, pistachio green ice cream cake, one strawberry ice cream, and then we have loads of nuts and pistachio with dark almonds, pistachio and cashews. So these are roasted nuts which add so much flavor to this cake. So have some happy summers.